Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Mermaid Swamp. So, I just beat Paranormal Syndrome the other day and that was a lot of fun, but now I want to play a game that isn't as hard to read. And uh, this game was translated by the person that did Alice Mayer, and that was a pretty good one, so this one should be fine too. I'm just gonna start. What the? Am I underwater? What the hell am I doing? Someone's there. <laughs> Rin, wake up! Oh. Stop sleeping already for crying out loud. Uh, shut up. I was just taking a nap. Is that so bad? One hell of a nap. Yuta's been driving all this time and you've just been snoring in the back. Jeez, not a hint of lady in this one. Oh, what? Not exactly interested in being ladylike for an early balding punk like you. <laughs> Rise and shine, Rin. I'm going to guess you slept well given you started around noon. Oh, get off my back. Yeah, but thanks to Baldi here, more of a rude awakening. Quit your yammering, yammer, Zaki. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, hey, Yuta, where are we anyways? You said something about kicking things into high gear, but are we in the mountains or what? <laughs> my bad. I don't know where we are. What? Are you telling me we're lost? Yep, don't have the first clue where we are. You gotta be kidding. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. Sorry about that. I mean, I did kinda know at first, but the fog just got so ti tick, so thick I decided to just keep driving even though we could have gone off a cliff or something, haha. <laughs> that ain't funny, shrimp face. This is exactly why I didn't want to go, go on no trip. Are you a country person? That ain't funny, shrimp face. This is exactly why I didn't want to go on no trip in your lousy old GPS-less car. Here in the countryside, we have fudge. Ow! Don't kick the seat. Well, now what do we do? I can't even see any signs. You really shouldn't drive if you can't see ahead of you in the fog. Huh? Yuta, why did you stop? I didn't, it just stopped. Hold on, I'll try the engine again. Ah, crap. I think it's busted. Are you for real, dude? You dumbass. Wait here, I'll go out and take a look. I, like, I'm not gonna be able to do that this entire time. Alright, I guess Rin knows something about cars. Let's take a look under the hood. Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? I... Ghosts? Um... They're not letting me back in the car. I guess I gotta get out of here. Uh... Someone's there. Oh. Definitely. Quite a surprise. What would you be doing up in these mountains, miss? Just an old coot. Damn it, don't freak me out. We were on a trip, but our car went kaput, so I guess we're stuck. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. Is there anywhere you can stay? Nah. If we can't get it running, I guess we'll be spending the night in the car. <laughs> what? what kind of plan is that? You don't need to do that. My home's nearby. You can stay there. Even if it's summer, it's really cold at night. Huh? For real? Well, let me talk to my buds. <laughs> That's a relief. Thanks, old man. But, are you sure? We don't want to pressure you. Well, I'm a landlord around here, you see. My house is much bigger than my needs. I would appreciate some young folks making use of it. 
I'm really grateful. We'll get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. Ah, I can see it now. Whoa, that place is huge. Damn, now that's a mansion. I kind of feel bad, Gramps, but thanks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa, it's really roomy inside, too. You gotta be rich, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha, rich enough to be ashamed of the state of this old place, perhaps? Come along, I'll show you to your rooms. Cool. You can use this room, Miss Rin. Forgive the old-fashionedness. It ain't nothing. I kinda like the whole retro thing. Me being a country girl and all. We love hip- th oh, whatever. Thanks again, Gramps. I'm sure you're all hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Until then, make yourself at home. Alright. Well, this is a nice turn of events. We were just driving on the highway, and now we're in the mountains. And we get to spend the night in a fancy pants hotel mansion. Uh. An electrical outlet. What the? Fireplace. Large swamp can be seen in front of the house. Wouldn't that be behind? Oh, whatever. That's a comfy bed. Got the light. <laughs> Nightstand. A chest for valuables, maybe. What? A chest for valuables, maybe. Nothing's inside, though. Okay. Let's go to our friends. Uh. Oh, it's you. Say, Taro? It ain't that old of a building, really. You see that other place out back? Now that's old. Huh? There's another mansion out back? The old man tells me they built this one a generation ago since the other one was falling apart. Huh. That's mysterious. You sure they didn't just rebuild it because the first one was super haunted? Nothing's inside. I'll just look around your room. It's, don't mind me. That's the swamp. That's the clock. And there's nothing in the bed. There's a coat on that rack. Not that I care about it, though. Okay. Now we gotta find our friends Yuta and... Yuka? I think. Yuka. Nice! Your room has a dresser. I ain't got one in mine. <laughs> it's a great design, isn't it? You can come over to your... You can come over to do your makeup in the morning. Hey, thanks a bunch. I don't know, Rin doesn't seem like the kind of girl that would use makeup. But what would I know? Nothing's inside. Uh... Is there a thing in your garbage bin? Don't mind me, I'm just, just rummaging. Alright. Let's find our buddy Utah. The driver that got us into this mess. Hey, guy. Hey, Rin. You see that big swamp in front? Yeah, the one you can see out the windows. It's super huge, isn't it? Maybe I'll go swimming tomorrow. Yeah, uh, stay away from me after you do that, because you are gonna reek. I don't think you can swim in swamps. Just, I don't know anything about swamps. The drawers are empty. Okay. I'm not gonna find anything in these rooms, am I? Oh, guess it's time for dinner. This isn't the dinner room. Wait a minute. Uh, a TV. Uh, that's a picture of a mermaid. Blech. Excellent. Ah, oh, jeez. It's one of those fake mermaids where they would sell the bodies of monkeys to fishes. This must be their living room. A TV, clocks, an old phone, fireplaces. These don't have anything in them. Oh, that painting. Oh, beautiful. Another picture of a mermaid. Or a dead girl, I don't really know. Lock doors. Um, shoe shelf. Nightstand, what is... Oh my gosh, I can go outside? Whoa, that's one big swamp. Hmm? Uh, what's this? A stone monument? Uh, a man did abduct from the seashore. Crap, I can't read this. Maybe Seitaro'd know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. 
Huh? Curious about the monument? Jesus, old man, you gotta not do that. Oh, my apologies. Did you read the inscription? <laughs> nah, couldn't make heads or tails of it. What's it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of the so-called mermaid swamp. Legend? It originated in the- wait, now I'm- <laughs> now I'm from the country too! It originated in the middle of the Meiji era. My family has governed this area since around that time. It said the son of a leader descended the mountains down to the seaside and discovered a mermaid. Sounds pretty shady. <laughs> well, it is a legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty that he took her to his mountain home. He created a fish tank for her to live in, and he filled it with water from this very swamp. The sky wasn't very bright. But a mermaid out of the sea cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and became very ugly. Her clear skin swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice as melodic as ringing bells was reduced to a beastly howl. The mermaid took on a most repulsive form, and subsequently died. And a mermaid's wrath is no pretty thing. Uh, young women have vanished from the nearby village. It's said to be the mermaid's curse. As such, this monument was put up to mourn her. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless, yes? Uh, sorry. I, I don't know about all that. Tell it to Seitaro. He likes scary stories and stuff. Is that right? <laughs> well... I've prepared dinner now, so come to the dining room if you would. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get a move on. Mmm, delicious. This is some great stuff, old man. I'm glad you like it. You can slow down a little, though. The bath is free if anyone wants to use it. You must be tired from the day's events. Please rest yourselves. Yuka, you aren't gonna eat? What's up? Yeah, I guess I'm just too tired to have an nap, but what? I'm just not hungry. Whoa, you okay? We'll clean up. You can go get some rest. Okay. Thanks, Yuta. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Y'all clean up now, you hear? Why do we have to clean up after you? Do it yourself, Yama Yucky. Oh. <laughs> yeah, work on your names while you're at it. Man, I'm stuffed. I'm ready to conk out after that bath. Great. I should save. Oh, this is so slick. Alright. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna sound like kinda weird right now. I just had a whole pot of green tea and... I don't know. I guess that caffeine wasn't very good for me. Uh, I'll just sleep. Nice fluffy bed. Hmm. Huh? Am I underwater again? Must be a dream. I mean, I'm not drowning, and my eyes don't hurt. Can't move a muscle, though. Someone's there again. Who the hell is it? Stop staring at me. I'll kill ya. Uh, g uh, good, got some good sleep. Morning already? Is it? A large swamp can be seen in front of the- I should just go. Out of save. Okay, so is Rin just dreaming that she's the mermaid in the story? She was getting that she but she- oh, whatever. Uh, wait, there was a clock in this guy's room. Yes. A clock. Not gonna check it though for the- alright. Large swamp. Where is everyone? Um. I was actually just here. What's in the fridge? Not much food inside. Yeah, there wouldn't be. 
this house is... belongs to one guy. Whatever. Uh, is that the picture of the dead girl? Oh no, that's just a picture of another dead girl. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't get to examine this area. Washing machine. Born clothes. This is the stool that you... Okay, I'm gonna just go. That bath looks nasty. Ah, bathroom. What the... I'm just gonna assume I gotta go outside. Uh... The old mansion's that way. It's super dilapidated, but hella huge. Can I not... I guess I don't want to go there. Um... Okay. Yep. I should check the other rooms. You okay, Yuta? Yuta's not here. How about you, Yuka? Oh, you are here. Um... Hey. Hey, Yuka. I mean, hey, Yuka. It's morning. Wake up. Sorry, Ren. I'm kind of... Well, I'm feeling kind of cold. Can I rest a little longer? Alright. You gonna be okay? Don't push yourself. Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe I caught a cold because of all that fog. I don't know if fogs do that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm sure you're fine. You're probably fine. Where the heck is everyone? Maybe I shouldn't walk around too much. Don't want Gramps to find me and get mad. We went through every room and no one's here. Do I just sleep again? Uh. No? Okay, I gotta keep searching. Uh, I didn't check this thing yet. No one in the tatami rune. Rune? Room. There. Oh, hey guys. What are you doing? Dang, you guys are up early. What's the deal? Early? It's already ten. But anyway, I checked on the car and it's not looking any better. Why would it be? It's a car. It's not a person. It doesn't just heal over time. Uh... Couldn't be out of gas. It's so cold. I mean, old. I wouldn't rule out... Eh. It's so old, I wouldn't rule out it just falling apart. But whatever it is, how are we gonna leave? Oh, what's happening here? Hey, I... Uh... So, yeah, old man. Sorry, but can we stay a while longer? That's unfortunate. As a matter of fact, I have to go to the nearby village to attend memorial service for a few days. That right. Well, we'll be out soon, then. We wouldn't want to stay too long. Even without a car, we should find a way walking. Could just leave the car and take the train home. No, it's quite all right for you to stay. I'm the only one who lives here after all, and I would like some. But I would appreciate someone looking after it. Huh? Really? Indeed. And you wouldn't get far walking in the mountains, certainly not in this fog. You're more than welcome to stay until your car is fixed. Just please don't do anything dangerous. Like, trying to leave. All right. Thanks, Gramps. Well, I've got to be going now. Keep an eye on any fires, and don't go walking in the... Mountains, yeah, yeah, we'll hold down the fort. Don't you worry, don't go dying yourself, you hear? Ha <laughs> ha, I'll be careful so long. Goodbye, old man. Hey, it's evening already. Maybe, what? Better get in the bath. I hate going in after the guys. That's a very Japanese. I find that really gross, though. Wait a minute, the bathroom was down here. Whew. That's the wrong bathroom. This is the bathroom. Ah, oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Couldn't really manage to relax yesterday, and having a huge bath like this is sweet. I'm not gonna do that. Wonder if Yuka's gonna bathe. Sucks that she's not feeling well. Kind of a waste of a trip. I'm getting sleepy. Uh oh You really shouldn't fall asleep in the bath. People die that way. Hmm? 
Oh, what? Ugh. Ugh. Gua! What the hell is this? The... The water's all gross. It wasn't this color when he got in. Not my fault, right? I'm not that dirty. Oh my god. Hey, what's the matter? You just ran into the washroom. She's in the... Dude! What? The hell are you barging in on me for, yippee dippy doo dah <laughs> Okay. For real though, this is so muddy, just how gross are you? Shut your mouth. <laughs> that ain't the problem. The water just got all muddy. Just like that. Alright, jokes aside then. Isn't this swamp water? Huh? And why would it be in the bath, genius? I don't know. Maybe the plumbing screwed up. Could have mixed in some swamp water. So the shower and toilet look okay. Well, no baths for a while, I guess. We'll have to hold out till the old man's back. I'm out. Huh. Damn it. What even? What? What even? Ugh. This pisses me off. I'll check on Yuka then get to bed. Yep. That was an awkward encounter. Alright. To Yuka, my sick friend. Hey, Yuka. Are you feeling better? Yuka's trembling. Looks kinda painful. Is she gonna be okay? Um. Oh. She's not even responding. Okay. You really should have called a doctor or something. Let's say hi to our friend. Say Taro's not even here. Maybe he's just in the dining this- Oh wait! Hey, say Taro! You know what this painting is? Not a clue. It's a Japanese mermaid. I think this one's a mummy. A mummy? You're telling me there are mer mummies? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty famous in some places. Well, actually, I hear it's a sham that uses the top of a monkey and the bottom of a fish. I got that right. Uh, well, I say blech, whatever it is. Okay. Where the heck is Yuta? Hey, Yuta. Hey, Ren. Is Yuka okay? She seems really ill. We should go to a hospital if it's still bad tomorrow. Better ask the old man about it ASAP. Uh, you, uh, kinda smell. Like sludge or something. Let's not talk about it. Um, oh. Okay. Well. I guess, uh, these guys are kind of... Wait, what? No, I mean, Yuta and Yuka are, like, a couple, maybe? Are you still sick? I mean, dead? Yep. Maybe I should just sleep. Or maybe I should go to the back. I'm gonna try sleeping first, because it's closer. Okay, uh, bed. Just remembered my cell's out of battery. Better get it charging. Oh, now well, we have an outlet right here. All right, that'll do her. Bedtime. Best time. Good night. <sighs> I hear water again. What? What in the fresh hell? This house is full of water. I mean, the house is... Right, just a dream. And what a weird one. Yep. Huh, I even walk slower. Cool. My cell phone! The phone is charging. Oh, it's one of those waterproof cell phones. Okay. Uh, is that a walrus? I know what that is. It's supposed to be a mermaid. Was there something there? It went toward Yuka's room. Oh my god, Yuka's a mermaid. Walk faster. Wait, no. Are you in there, Seitaro? Nope. Okay, y Yuka. That's confusing. They have very similar names. Yuka? Uh. Mine. Mine. Phew. Just a dream. What an awful dream.
I wonder if Yuka's up. I hope she's better. I hope she's not a mermaid. Wait, is my phone are you okay? Phone's still charging great. That's important. Very important. I should save again. There we go. Alright. Yuka. I really wish I could run. This is an urgent matter. Hey, Yuka. It's morning. Are you feeling any better? We can go to the hospital if it's bad, okay? Your eyes are gone. Yuka? Yuka, hey, come on. Ugh. Gah! W Yuka, what happened to you? You're all swollen. Hey, what the hell? Uh. Y Yuka, what is this? Rin, call an ambulance. Uh, ambulance? There's a phone in the living room. Hurry. Got it. Okay, um, this isn't the living room. The music's getting louder. I don't know if there's a timer in this. Uh, living room's here. Locked. Not not the living room. Uh-oh. The music's getting louder. Why is it doing that? Uh, what's the number? 119. What? I don't hear a thing. The wires connect for sure. Is this thing busted? Pieces of... This ain't the time. Oh god, the mermaid cut the telephone line. Oh yeah, my phone's charging. I'll use that. You should have done that first, but I had to go here because of story reasons. Okay. We're not gonna tell Yuta though, because Yuta probably likes her. We don't want to freak him out. Okay, cell phone. It's your time to shine. Okay, uh, 119, right? Come on, come on. What? Out of battery? What? But it's plugged in. It's friggin' charging, damn it. What the hell is going on? We can't call an ambulance without a goddamn working phone. Yep. Just, what the hell happened to Yuka? Her body's all swollen. Skin all stiff. Mm, makes her almost seem like a corpse. Shut the hell up. Yuka sure as hell not dead. She's still breathing and all that. Sorry. Hey, what about Seitaro? Where'd he go? He's off looking for nearby villages or towns, or anywhere we can call a hospital. Villages? Towns? No way. There's... What? Oh, she was talk. Okay. No way there's any in walking distance. We didn't see any in the car, right? And there's no way in this fog. Can't see more than a few meters in front. The hell do you propose, then? You want to leave Yuka how she is? You shut the hell up or I'll make you... Okay. Oh, hey, Seitaro! <laughs> uh, Seitaro, how'd it go? No good. I can't see a thing within... What, with the heavy fog? I feel lucky I even made it back. But you did look, right? Of course I did. This fog just makes it impossible. I don't dare walk out there without signs. I mean, the old man was really insistent about us not walking around out there. I guess that's what he meant, huh? Well... Well then what? Yuka might... What if she dies? I don't want that to happen. I'm sure none of us do. No. Yuka's fine. I don't think she'll die. Huh? Seriously? She's got a pulse, breathing, but no, with no fever, nothing wrong other than the external stuff. Though she keeps mumbling that she's cold. Not that it's any reason to leave her. We've got to get her to a hospital soon. If we just had a nap... A map? <laughs> if, if we just had a map, we could get around. How about we look for one? Uh, all right. I'm sure we'll find one if we work together. Hey, by the way, Seitaro, about the phone not working and the charger, do you know why that happened? The house's power's out. Huh? Maybe it's an outage or the guy forgot to pay his bill. Either way, the power's out. You can see how dark it is without the lights, right? Yeah, it did seem dark. But why? It was working yesterday. How should I know? Still, you could take priority right now. Gotta find that map. Yeah, I got it. Let's search the house together. We gotta help Yuka. Y yeah, 
Right. It's nice to know you guys are so confident. Well, we gotta find a map. Boop. Good. Alright, map, map, map. Um, what was in here? What? Wait a minute, what am I doing? <laughs> Wrong way! Uh, this is the locked room. Is there a map in here? Shoe shelf, nope. How about in the washroom? Uh, not in the bathroom. Oh, hey Utah. Hey Utah. What? Hey Utah, the hell are you staring at? You look for the map too. I, I know. I don't like it when you're shouty. I was just taking a break to look at these paintings. What? So many beautiful paintings in this house. They're stunning. Your friend is also dying. Are you succumbing to the mermaid curse? Yep. You probably are. Trash can is empty. This is the kitchen. Maybe there's a map stuck to the fridge. No, there isn't. Uh, how about inside the desk in my room? Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Uh, inside my treasure chest, maybe? Chest for valuables, maybe. Nothing inside, though. Damn it. Uh... Eesh. No. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna just guess it's not here. What's upstairs? Huh? Oh. That's a weird transition. Another picture of a dead girl. Oh. Hey, Sitaro, you find anything great? Yo, Sitaro, found a map? Nah, nothing yet. But this study seems like a sh <laughs> But the study seems like a likely place. I'll check here so you look around somewhere else. What's up? Yuka. Why the hell did that happen? I mean, it's flat out ridiculous, right? For a body to just swell up like that. I was wondering about that too. Way too bad to be an allergy. And an infection. Well, we're okay, right? How about you? Any ideas? Uh, no, that was just a dream. It wasn't real. Uh, sorry, I got nothing. Yeah, figures. For now, look for the map and ask me if you need anything. Okay, I'm gonna look at this book, though. It's a book. The center of the world is the secret place of gods. True secrets sleep forever in secrecy. That's, uh... What? Okay. Where'd that map go? Huh. Fish tanks. Uh. Is that a jump scare? <laughs> nope, they're all just very strange looking. Okay, I never had fish before. Even as a kid, I never considered fish pets. It says Chio on it. That must be the name of the old man's niece? Notebook. I hate father. He locked up lots of fishy fish. The fishy fish is so deplorable, I hate looking at the fishy fish. Damn, kid, you have issues. That's his fear of the world. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of fish bowls in this house. Dead goldfish float in the bowl. Huh. Well. What's on the... Okay. Hey, it's another tatami room. Is that a katana? Decorative katana. You should take it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh god, it said something. The opening's too small for my hand. Let's try turning it upside down. Damn, this is heavy. Can't even lift this up, then I'll have to reach it somehow. Really? I mean, it's a jar. You can just roll it over. I mean, I guess you might break it, but this is an emergency. It's locked from the inside. I can see it clasp through the gap. We need a stick or something. Yeah, I didn't pick anything up lately. Uh, toy building blocks is Chie on it. A notebook. I love father. He bought up lots of fishy fish. The fishy fish are so adorable. I love looking at the fishy fish. Well, your fishy fish are dead. That's another circle thing. Yep, more dead goldfish. Huh? This shelf seems super wobbly. I wonder if I can move it. 
Oh, is that gonna crush me? Hold on a second. Alright. Um. Okay. Oh. Well, what is this? There's a huge hole in the wall. And then there's a shiny over there. This is weird. What's this? Some kind of... Some piece of paper. Bundle of documents. Um. There, uh... There was a, um... Be bequeasy metho pro propose heron. Yeah, I can't read this. Maybe Seitaro can help. Okay. Gotta get to Seitaro, but before that, I want to finish explorations. Locked. Oh, wait, yeah, that's the... Huh? Wait, is that the... Is that the exit? Why can't we just... Never mind. Something stuck in the keyhole. Wax? Is that a thing people do? Can you just stuff hot wax into a keyhole? It's locked. I mean, I guess that would kind of lock it, but I assume that you could just melt it away when you wanted to. Never mind. Oh, it's the grand piano room. This is totally going to be a puzzle. A bookshelf with some albums on it. A painting done by a child. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> what? Hey, Peony. Piano collecting dust. Yeah, Rin doesn't play piano. She's not a girly girl. She's a tough, macho girl, man, guy. Shelves are filled with miscellaneous. Hold on. Ow. Painting done by a kid. That's a mermaid. So there were two kids. One didn't like fishes and the other loved fishes. Maybe one died and the other one became one. I don't know what that would mean. Hey, say, Tara, will you eat this for me? Yeah, I mean, yeah, got something to ask? Oh. Oh, I could have asked you questions. Let's talk about the mansion. Oh, the old mansion. Just go out the front and turn right. Maybe we'll check there too if there's no map here. You aren't going there already, are you? Search this one first. Shut up, I know. I was just asking. All right. Uh, paintings. Paintings? You mean the ones of Ophelia? Oh. She's a character from Hamlet. Being a tragic heroine, she gets painted a lot. A lot. Wow. <sighs> In fact, all the paintings here depict the exact same scene. Know what I'm think talking about? I don't know. They're all in water, I guess. I'm talking about Ophelia's death scene. Ophelia's father is killed. Her lover forsakes her, and then she drowns in a river. It's never clear if it's suicide or an accident. That's what most pictures of Ophelia are. Guess it captures the minds of lots of artists. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're going on about. I'm just a simple girl from the countryside. You wouldn't, would you? Yeah, I'm sure you guys make a great couple. I want to talk to you about that third thing. I found these in a wall, but I can't read them. How about you? <laughs> Whoa, this paper's old. Must have been written in the Showa area. Let's see. Thereupon my grandfather's return from China, he bequeathed to me a, metho what? a methodology to prevent the propagation of germs. Wrote herein for future generations. The method is as follows. Well, the writing's all faded. But prevent the propagation of germs. Maybe it's about making disinfectant. Why the hell would that be here? Beats me. But preservatives are important for food storage. Because they didn't used to have refrigerators. Hmm. Okay. We gotta keep searching. Where have I not searched yet? Let's see. Did I not check? But this was locked. Oh! Yuta! Hey, you're still looking at pictures. Yuta, you slacking off again? I'm sorry. Whoa, Kay! You're not right in the head right now, are you? Yeah. What's his problem? We should catch up with him, because he might go crazy and kill himself. Uh... Uh, where else were there pictures? Um... You still glug glugging? Yep. You look like you have a pear in your mouth. Cold. <laughs> so cold. I'm so sorry, Yuka. Yuka's cold. Maybe I should warm up the room. Oh yeah, 
I gotta warm up the room. I remember this. Okay, fireplace. If I had firewood, if I had fire and firewood, I could warm the room up. Not too sure if that'll be okay, though. Gotta think about this. Well, we definitely gotta warm it up. There's a thing in the mirror. Um, why? There was a key in the drawer. Interesting. Okay, let's get to a locked door. This one was locked. I wonder if it opens this one. Oh, that's not how that works. <laughs> okay, that's not it. It's the room upstairs. Okay, which one was locked? No, that's the kids' rooms. And that's the nothing room. Uh, this one? Nope, this one? Locked. Oh yeah, this one was locked too. What? Oh. Alright, there's a shiny on the bed. How are you? A dust-covered bed. Ow! Something pricked my hand. A wire? Why? Got a wire. I can use that to open the clasp. Landscape painting, a bed, filled with nothing, and nothing. Got a note. Those are the fishes, because of the eyes. 521832. Hold on a second, I'm going to screen capture this. What are those round things? Eyeballs. And the numbers, I don't get it at all. Must be about how you're supposed to step. Come on, it's not that crazy. Uh, let's try opening this door from this side. Oh, that's it. I can raise the latch with this wire. Now you're thinking. Stuck the wire through the gap. I used to do that a lot in high school. Uh, save. This room looks very suspicious. The clock stopped. It's ticking no longer. The only clock in the house I liked. Where did its spring get to? Actually, it must still be here, mustn't it? It was a protective charm of mine. Perhaps I cannot have it again. The clock spring was your protective charm? What does that mean? Old kimonos. Lanterns. Nothings. It's your little futon. Dresser. And a slightly ajar closet door. More futons. Really? Okay, that's <laughs> nothing. Yep, that's the tatami room. We got a... Wait. Oh yeah, the fish room. Okay, so... um, This guy... And then we gotta go one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One. Two. Huh? The floor is creaky here. Bet I could pull out a plank. Ah, dang it, hold on. Alright. Yep. Newspaper clipping. This mansion's loaded with interesting goodies. I gotta read that. It's a newspaper clipping from 1972. Yesterday morning, Saiko Kawamoto and her children Chie and Chio were found dead in an irrigation channel in the city. Eyewitnesses claim that Saiko was drowning, leading Chie and Chio to jump into the channel after her and drown along with her. Okay, then. That's very depressing. Um, okay. And I'm assuming that all these people are related to the old man. Got something to ask. Uh... Oh yeah, Yuka's room. Think I should start the fireplace in Yuka's room? She seems super cold. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. But we don't have any firewood, do we? If we find some, I guess, but I don't know either. <sighs> I pulled the plank up out of the ground. That would have made good-ish firewood, I think. I don't know. I mean, I guess those things are chemically treated and burning it might not be good, but... I don't know what I'm talking about. You still glubbing? Yeah, you are. Yep, cold. We gotta get you firewood really quickly. I don't want you to die on me, because you died on me that one time I played this game a billion years ago. 
Uh, maybe now I can go to the mansion. Okay, mansion. I shouldn't go there. Come on! I thought we were dead. Hmm. Oh yeah, I gotta find Yuta. Yuta, hey, how you doing, creep? Yuta, are you okay? He's lost it, hasn't he? Can't exactly say you blame him. After all, Yuka was his one and only. Damn it. Um. Oh, wait, no. Can I just go back to Yuka? And light the thingy up? Hey, how you doing? Fireplace. Still can't light it. Oh, wait. Firewood. That would be out back, wouldn't it? Boop, 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 boop. Gonna get the firewood. Can I explore this place better? No. I really can't. I didn't mean to do that. Is there something on the right side that I just missed? Whoa. Oh. I... Okay. I'm not supposed to be here. Um, can I just... How about I look through here? What? Good... What? I didn't... I pressed that too fast. Oh, uh, crap. Well, we got chopsticks. I could jam that into the wax keyhole thing, maybe? I don't know. Probably. This is an RPG horror game, after all. Alright, uh, this is wax. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay, uh, how about this one? Oh, inside the jar! The jar in the kimono tatami katana room. Here we go. Ah, got it. Wait, damn it, it's just a key. Rin, a key is like the most valuable object in an RPG game. You don't know this though because you're a character in the game and... Ah. Uh. Who's in the closet? Looking closely, there's a paper between the futon and the wall. An old piece of paper. Okay. What are you? Right, uh, can't read it. I uh, better ask Seitaro. Hey! Rin! Come here for a sec. I'm- I intend to. Yeah? What, Seitaro found a map? No, I'm going to look places besides the study now. But first you should take these. Lighter and lantern. Good. Why'd you have a friggin' lantern? And why should I care? Think about it, dummy. The power's out, right? And it's gonna be night soon. We need light to keep searching. There's one for Yuta too, so give it to him. Alright, got it. Yuta's acting crazy, but not gonna mention that. Is Yuta back in his room? I guess I'll go see if he wants this. I'm gonna check in on him in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>